I'm glad we're back for another closet pod with Jamie Lynn. Um, looks like you're in a different part of the closet. The, there seems to be some sort of message, some hidden message behind you. Something that, what do you think that, that says, Rob? Hold on, hold on. Don't tell us what it says. It says, I, I, mommy. I thought it said, I thought it said Tommy boy, but yeah, it says, oh, that's a good guess. Mommy oh, toy. No, mommy, M- mommy. And then boys, maybe you're trying to categorize the boots that are there. Like so maybe the, some are for the boys and some are for the mommies. No, this was a sign that Bo held up in a like a preschool recital when it said like, who do you uh-huh. love or something? Oh, my uh, mommy and daddy. He obviously didn't write that. So you wrote that and he and just it, held I, it up. Obviously, I'm not going to like display that anywhere like nice in my house. So it goes behind my boots where like I still <laughs> look at it every once in a while. I'm like, oh, but like it's like not cute. So it's not out. Speaking of being in the closet, I, I forgot to tell you guys this like oh. months and months and months ago. Dude, a, guy, a guy <laughs> reached out to me on a dating app. Ah! And let me tell so like sometimes when you go through dating apps, you see uh, like a guy sneak into like the girls section and How literally can you do that because they say they're a woman. Oh, oh. Okay. And, and of course, these days, no one's going to say, no, you're not, you know, so they just go like, oh, OK, Bill, like, yeah, sure. Welcome in. And literally like some of them, there's a picture. <laughs> there's a picture of a guy like this. He's like, and under it's like, I could keep a secret. <laughs> you know? <I'm> like, <laughs> So much crazy stuff. So, so here's the thing. I've never seen a guy pop up in my messages because that's like when you're scanning, you see that. Mm. And I'm on this dating app and a guy pops up in my messages, which normally you have to approve somebody to be in your messages. So I'm like, how the fuck did this person get into my messages? And he uh, he did the super sender. He paid for it, right? That's what happened. Oh my god! It was really? a super sender. Uh, uh, you guys a talk super sender. You guys I talk about what you think happened. Is. I'm gonna go grab my phone and and read the actual thing. Okay. But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, a on these super sender. I don't so know if I that's think, what it's called. I, yeah, but can I go first? Please. Thank you. I think Rob was talking to a he thought a chick, and mm. then he like reneged him, and um. <laughs> It's like, wait, ah, what? I'm a man, and now I meet this. He whatted him? Renaya from Manti Teo, Doc. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I got to watch this, Doc. You've already oh incorporated it in I your thought vocabulary. You it, that's why you were laughing. No. I finally started Rob it. Rob knows. Oh. Yeah. All right. So here we go, Zach. Oh, my God. You Zach, ready? Zach. Not the yeah, ego so thing. You just outed Zach. Zach. Yeah, well, he's going to enjoy that because he wrote, Zach, he goes, paid the three ninety nine just to let you know I love pajama pants and would be remiss if I didn't extend myself the opportunity to banter with you about 90 Day Fiance, dating apps, and everything in between. Love what you're doing, brother. So I wrote back. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. You wrote back. You wrote back. Let this yeah, show that it costs $4 to access Rob. There. Yep. Yeah, but this is this is my last one. I'm letting <laughs> you know right now. No more men. <laughs> no more guys in my day. So I wrote back, hey, I just let this is like months ago. I'm like, I just left Casim's house recording a pod. That's hilarious. Don't drag like, me into this. Yeah, he's like, can't wait to listen. And I wrote Casim's single too, by the way. Unreal. I wrote, uh, he wrote, can't wait to listen next week. And then he wrote, would love to take you guys out for dinner or link up in some way and shoot the shit. And that was April 5th. And he hasn't heard back. Dude, we could have had a new friend by now. Yeah, he could have came to Austin with us. <laughs> he could have. This is before my birthday. Damn, yeah, could have got a dinner out of this thing. Wow. Well, okay. Can I ask you something? Is he a good-looking guy? I'll. Sh- I, well, I, I, I'm not good. We won't put his picture on the thing. But honestly, I don't remember what he looks like. But on on this dating app that you know of, I don't think there's a lot of ugly people. So he's just right. kind of. He was just trying to friend you. He wasn't oh, trying to date you. This is a good looking oh, guy. Wow. This guy is like Robert yep. Pattinson meets yep. uh yep. like Timothy Chalamet or yep. something. There is something mysterious. Oh, oh dude. cute. This oh, guy could have been a montage. Wow, Jamie, you're t- here you go. He's he's got his three ninety nine worth, boy. Wow, man. Good for him. I'd say well, if if you were to try anything, um, that'd be a great start for you. Yeah, I agree. Cool. 
I'll I'll let you know cool. how it goes. I just I just cool. wrote them you guys on free would look, Friday. You guys would look good together. Oh my Thanks. gosh! Yeah, what a what a couple! Yeah, huh? what a couple! This is man. Great. Oh God! Well, look, congrats. Um, yeah. That's, <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's very woke of you, and uh, yeah, it's nice yeah. that you gave that guy an opportunity. Okay, so there's there's a little game I want to play this week. I saw Ooh. I saw three people. And I want you guys to try and figure out where I was when I saw this. So I saw a guy in full Muslim. What is it called? So he has like the thing on his head, but then he has like the yeah. gown. Yeah, uh, that's Costume? like the Saudi. That's like the Saudi look. Um, you know, I don't know what what the official like white person name is, but like in in the Middle East, like my family calls that a Galabaya, which is of like course. The, Kasim Galabaya. It sounds like my last name. And it's like uh you know, are you talking about like they had like the red? Is it the red sort of head dress with the like black band around? No, and then it, the white, the white sort of. Uh, no, that's like a chic, right? That's like yeah. that's like a Saudi. But this was like the, right. yeah, it's it's like people when you're that's like, like the, the bad guys in Three Ninjas. That's what they look like. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, what a, what a good time back yeah. then. You know, it's okay, a good time so, to be a kid. You know, you know when you're okay. This is the only way I could describe it. When you're in like Midtown and there's people like selling stuff, and then like it's sundown yeah. and everyone gets on their knees and they start like bowing yeah. t- t- to the sun, and they're to they're me- in to like Mecca. They're, it's not towards the sun. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, it's okay. To Mecca. Mecca. No, I God. because I've been there. I had to God. do a hodge. I did a pilgrimage, God, when I was a young man. When I was four <laughs> years old. When you were four. Uh huh. Wow! I can tell you, you, how do you know huh? what you're doing it for. You don't. I don't know what they're doing, and I'm 40. I don't know if I've talked about this on the pod, but Never. I did. I, need to I hear did this my. Story. I did my pilgrimage. Just as a quick aside to your story. No, about please you take your racially time. This profiling better. this man in the city. You have to, as a Muslim, and we were practicing Muslims when I was younger. But like when we moved to the states, my their my parents were like, we don't give a shit. But when you yeah. live there you have to like fit in and and assimilate because if you don't, you'll get shunned by your family. It'll be a fucking social problem if you aren't praying five times a day and doing all that. And so as part of cool. And as part of that, you got to go to Mecca, um, which is in uh, Saudi Arabia. And it's like a holy uh, land. And there's like all you do for like, I don't know. I think it's like a week long. But everyone wears all white. It's like an R. Kelly party. It's like all everyone wears all white and you walk around. And I don't know if you've seen images of it, but there's like this big cube that is at the center of this place. And from my knowledge, there's like a meteorite that like supposedly like Muhammad, like there's a meteorite. And then everyone's just walking thousands of people walking in a circle and all you do is walk and you're fucking barefoot. And and I just remember why and not understanding why we were there. I think I asked, like, why? Like, why? Why? <laughs> and I just kept getting shushed, like, sh- like, just shut, just walk. And this is a, a dangerous thing because Jack like would have, Jack would have been like, fuck you. And like <laughs> ran away from me. <laughs> like, yeah, how, how did you by lightning. do that at four years old? You do you just like have a. Was it just like known? You because just do things it. Were more strict. You just do it. You just do it, and like everyone is te- like, "Oh, it's so great." They like when there's stuff like this. It's um like you're doing something that's so good, and you get a lot of pats yes. on the back, yes. and you go, "Good yes. boy, good boy." And uh, and then twenty years later, you're an alcoholic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was probably an alcoholic much sooner than that. Um, and 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 this is probably why. And like so many people are walking that they're they're like deaths every every year because people get when trampled and like they get <gasps> exhausted. They like they fall. I mean, there's all kinds of I'm happy you made it out. Ha- people just I keep walking of, if somebody just, falls. I mean, obviously, I think people get help. But like sometimes what God would want. this is what God wants. This is why first real time questioning, like what religion was and why I had to. I had wow. a very sort of tumultuous relationship with religion growing up. And this this is part of the reason I why. Wonder why. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so you you do it once and then it's fucking done. Some people go all the time. I don't know what the, the rules are, but uh, it's like burning man. It's like burning man. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Except there's like no hot 
half naked women. <laughs> no platforms and no goggles. Titties. Yeah, no, none of that. It's it's all covered up. The only thing you see are people's nasty, like calloused feet. So, wow. mm. but when people are praying, when you see a Muslim praying, um, eh, they're praying towards that. That so place. in the direction of it, wherever in the they direction. Are. And like, I remember my parents had a, a prayer mat growing but isn't up it and it had a every fucking direction. Compass. No, you, Mecca that, to that it's a, place. It's a they're, place. They're, right. Isn't that it? Like if, if, if I go far enough this way, I'll reach Mecca. But if I go far enough this way, I'll reach Mecca. Um, I mean, yeah, because okay. the world is round, but the shorter right. they're, they're 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 praying in the shorter distance. That's what I'm saying. You always go towards the shorter direction. Yes. What's the matter, Cass? If, I don't know if this question's ever been asked before, dude. <laughs> well, I could because people ask it and they get shushed. Shh. Congratulations. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Yeah, I would assume Jamie's right. You would pray in the shorter direction. Mm hmm. Did I just reveal your whole religion's a fraud? Is that why you're yeah. not my re- <laughs> why are you stunned right now? I am. I'm just wondering. I'm stunned. <laughs> I'm just wondering if, if Mecca is this way for me and it's the shortest distance, is it directly behind me if I'm going the long distance? And let uh, yes, but also let's say you're in a place that's right in the middle. Does it depend on what block you're on, which way you face, which way Mecca's closest? Look at Jamie's. <laughs> hey, this is important. This people come here for. We need. We need some facts. Muslims. They they had to have figured this out. We need some Muslims to write <laughs> I would in. Think so, ask yeah. pajama pants at gmail dot com because surely the three of us are not. Are we don't know and uh, and I don't know if it, it it's that big of a I deal. I know. I said it. All right. So anyway, there's a Muslim guy. <laughs> Back to <Okay>. your story. <laughs> no, but but so listen, what is it when a guy is wearing like a, it looks like a muumu, but it's all the way down to his feet and it's like Captain? blue. No, maybe it's like blue and like bedazzled. Oh, that sounds like an Indian, uh, like a Pakistani yeah. or an Indian person. We don't maybe. have and colors then, like, and sequence like that in, in my part of the world. The hat is like this and it's like a little bit lifted. That's you know? Indian. Okay. Um, if it's a if it's like a turban, and no, he's it was wearing, like a little, like a no. like a big yarmulke that's lifted a little. You know those hats like this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They're like little hat caps. They're like little <laughs> caps. I don't. I don't know if it's um if it's out of like out of place for somebody from like Saudi Arabia or Jordan to be wearing a, a colored thing. I don't think I've. I don't maybe, but if it was shiny. That's yeah. probably considered pretty gay, and that's definitely not allowed. Well, in New York, they really they go for it, you know. Yeah, like but this like, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Very with, similar with Indian. the design. That's for sure Indian. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So I saw an Indian gentleman shoes off. Uh, mm. Then I saw somebody with a collared shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, tucked in wearing cargo shorts with remember the braided belts from back yes. in the day that everybody the brown wore like nice braid. Yeah. Yeah. Brown leather fucking, fucking love a braided belt. Yeah, and then the 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 loop that comes out, the piece that comes out gets like longer and longer because it's yeah. braided. And it looks yeah. like a hangy dong. Yeah. You know? And then yeah. and then the last person was also in a collared shirt, uh shorts with oh sorry, pants with papers everywhere there's no way you'll figure this out i was at a gym there's a guy on a treadmill when i tell you there had to be 80 90 pieces of paper on this on the front of the treadmill then another 100 pieces of paper on the treadmill next to him (laughs) and 100 pieces of paper on the other treadmill next to him and then people working out around him like nothing's going on he had like an office mask (laughs) shirt on i'm like what i'm like how is the like this guy being on this treadmill is crazy the fact that everyone's walking around including employees and everything and he took up three treadmills three treadmills and then you got the indian guy with his shoes off on the stairmaster barefoot and then uh, the guy with the braided belt and the cargo shorts was working out i was like is no one 
seeing the, but I guess I've just been away from New York for too long. We're like, no, that's crazy. This is total. Then I'm, I'm on the floor doing like a core workout <laughs> and a fucking woman comes in. Who's like 70 with a shopping cart, like clearly like a homeless person shopping cart with garbage bags in it and everything reaches in. She's wearing a mask. She reaches into one of the bags, takes out a water bottle, starts filling it up at the water fountain and just keeps doing it with more water bottles. And I'm like, we're in like a nice gym. <laughs> And this is going on. I'm like, how did I'm like, how how do these people get it together to be when I saw the, all the papers on the fucking treadmills, I was like, this isn't real life. Like what's <laughs> going on? I'm talking hundred like it, I don't know how he carried all these pieces of paper in, let alone to be like, all right, I'm gonna set these up on this treadmill, these up on this treadmill, and then take over this whole screen. Like oh this guy God. is dedicated. Like he's I'm, dedicated to Was he out. walking? Walking. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by the nice folks at Helix Sleep. These guys, I got to tell you, um, got a new mattress. I am sleeping like a baby, but you would be like, hey, Cass, didn't you already have a great mattress? I did. I had a leading memory foam mattress uh, when Helix came aboard as a sponsor. I was like, there's no way this is going to be as good. Um, but I, I tried it. You know, I had to. I went online, took the sleep quiz. They have the sleep quiz. It tells you exactly what type of mattress it's uh, will be best for you based on how you sleep on your side, on your stomach, on your back, um, how many people are sleeping in the bed. At the end of the quiz, it pops out a mattress that is tailored and custom uh, fit to your needs. And I got it within four days. It came in a little box, not like this, but you know what I mean, a box. You uh, kind of cut it open and it unfurls. And it's like so much easier. Remember back in the day, you used to have to slap a mattress on top of your car and like your dad would hold it and your uncle would be on the other side. And there was a chance that if you got uh, enough wind underneath, the thing would just fly off. This thing gets shipped to you. It's super easy to put on. And it is more comfortable than a leading brand memory foam mattress that I had before. And right now, Helix Sleep is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com. Slash pajama with Helix. Better sleep starts now. You know what this needs? This this is a perfect place for gym cops. We need gym cops. We oh. need any. Of, we need any of the. Cops, I'll do it. Racist cops, cops gym that cops. have been fired from the regular like police it. force. They go from uh, redemption, redeem yourself. NYPD to like twenty four hour fitness or whatever you have there. It's no body cams. They shoot first like they just <laughs> they bust in with a battering ram. And it's like if you're doing shit, like if you're doing fucking business papers and shit on the treadmill, bang, like two in the chest. And if you're if you're a lady filling up more than one like a water bottle, bang, you know, like there's yeah. we don't ask questions. They don't go to court. No one like they don't have to like respond to anyone. We know they're bad cops, but that it keeps everyone in line. There needs to be some sort of uniformity for what you wear and what you do in these places. Wow. The only rule is the gym camera has to show what happened on TikTok, but there's no bad yeah. or good. They just have to show it for our entertainment. I would love I would have yep. loved to see somebody just like a ex football player come out of nowhere and just tackle this guy. Gym and right. just like, like Terry him Tate off the his fucking linebacker. wall. Yeah. And be like, hey, like you shouldn't be doing this. Like, have a good one. Right. Absolutely. This Brilliant. is unacceptable. If you're going to the gym in anything other than like uh, like a, a, like joggers or, or you know, basketball running shorts, shorts, basketball like that's shorts. The, that's the minimum. I think I think I would be lenient like I would be a nice warden and I would let people do whatever they want with their hair. If you want to like pay homage to your religion by wearing a headdress or some sort of like turban, feel free. But below below the neck, I need to see like Under Armour or I need to see Lululemon or something. Under yeah. yeah. People are going to be like, not everyone can afford Lululemon. Great. Yeah. Then like People there's a, the, the Walmart equivalent to whatever, like, <laughs> like fly knit or dry knit, you know, there is a cheaper version of it and you guys can and find it and, and uh, wear it to the gym. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Okay, Jamie, I have, I have an, I wrote some stuff down this week, which I haven't done for a while, but I'm oh. in New York. I got shit going on. Jamie looks like she's fucking shining shoes down there. I <laughs> have so many bug bites on my ankle and I'm itching them. I'm Is sorry. it this time of Girl year in Texas queen. bug bug bite? So many. And my kids keep leaving the doors open. So the mosquitoes are just eating me alive in my house. 
Yeah. The uh, so this obviously I'm not gonna be like I wrote stuff down and then come out with this like it's some great thing. But I was just curious <laughs> the other day. Do you say pears with an S or pear? Like if I say uh, uh, I have a pair of socks, or do you say I have three pairs of socks or yes. three pair of socks? I say three pairs. I say both. Like yeah, I say I have three pairs of socks, but I go if I'm. If I go, oh, I need to grab a pair of those, you know, I think I use both. In those and is that the right thing to do? That's what I was trying to figure out. Is this correct? Like, I, I, have, I have three no pairs of socks. I, I think I think three pairs of socks should no, be. You have multiple pairs. A pair is two. A pair means two. That's all it means. So when you have three pairs, it means you have three twos. <laughs> three twos. I lo- we have to have like. <laughs> Jamie explain corner and and it just somebody has to write in and they have to have Jamie explain stuff and in. that's it. I'm in. Yeah, Jamie explain pairs. Uh, but did I it's not explain it well? <laughs> it's a two, and you have twos. But I'm a, I'm correct. Oh yeah, of course. But okay. I just love you hearing. Oh, it's just you stuff. like the way I do it. Yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's like, like it's for a toddler. Yeah, it's for because a you're toddler, a toddler. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it works on us. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you get in your mom voice, like I understand you clearly because I'm like, <laughs> I need to hear it like a mother would tell me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh my God. I had to have, I had to be real humbled as a parent this week, but you let, I'll tell you later. Do this. No, no, no. Go. Oh, are we done with that? That was my question. Oh yeah. I have more stuff, but that was my question. So I think you know this about Bo. It's like, you know, he sees the world through Bo colored glasses. Like he Mm. thinks he's the fucking greatest. And even if like somebody would make fun of him, he'd be like, huh, that's not true. And like not care at all. Like he's never been humbled. Yeah. And shit just works out for this kid. Like, Yes, like uh, his baseball game, like he's not letting people coach him. He like just thinks he knows everything. Yeah. And it's annoying. Because his dad used to play baseball and so he has that sort no, of No, because he won't listen to Cutter. Hmm. He just like, he just knows. He doesn't listen just... to Cutter because his grandpa used to play baseball and he doesn't like to hear <laughs> He stuff. doesn't listen to Cutter because he doesn't want to listen to anybody. Yeah. And like he like thinks that he hit like a game winning home run, but Cutter's like he hit a weak ball to the pitcher who whiffed it to the first baseman. So Bo got to second and then, then they threw it to second and Bo came all the way home because it was two bad throws. But yeah. like Bo's like, I hit the game winning home run yeah. and I'm the best. And like, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, he's not like, he's not there yet. He's just not, the other kids are stronger. Like he's, you know, it's, <laughs> he, he can get there if he, tr- if he works at it. But if he like, if his coach is like, Hey, Bo, when you do that, you don't, you don't catch well, try and do this. And he'll be like, okay. And like, not do it. Yeah. He's not an asshole about it. He'll just look at you and go, mm-hmm, and like never listen to you. And now to add, uh, it gets even worse when he thinks he hit the game-winning home run because he's like, well, I don't have to listen to these fools. I'm hitting fucking game-winning home runs. And what's bothering me is I am terrified for him for a day when it's somebody really fucking checks him. You know, somebody he really cares about, whether it's a friend, an older that'll person. Be a, that'll be a good day. That'll and I'm, day. I'm, I so want to protect him from that moment, Mm-mm. but in no. my trying to perfect him, I'm being mean to him. And I called my dad today about it and I don't do this often. I was like, I'm stumped. Like, I really don't know what the right thing to do here is. And my dad was like, let him maintain his innocence as long as you can. Like there's going to be a day where he will never see the world like that again and let him just think that everything fucking works out for him and everything's great. And he, cause if, wouldn't you rather him be in the field thinking he's the greatest than like coming to you thinking he's the worst. And I'm like, yeah. So I've had to like, I told Cutter, I was like, dude, we got to just like let him be Bo and be there for him when he has to get like the life lesson from it. Right. Yeah. Um, that's the move, right? Well, it's hard. Yeah. Cause you, you all, you like, it's like, oh, my son My son thinks he hit the game-winning home run at a baseball game. That's so good. But then you want to be like, oh, do I have to check him? Like, 
Yeah, but somebody, someone else that's good. Because when I do, I'll be there soon. I'll do it. I'll do it. (laughs) I'll check them. You know what? You know what this is. You know what, Bo? We we can pivot this into Bo is like a. In my head, I see this as like Bo is a better like baseball player for a TV show or a movie <laughs> right. than he is for, in real life because he knows like how to look. He knows how to wear the clothes. He knows how to swing. He knows when to spit. He knows when to like kick the bat to his cleat. He knows how to toss the bat. He knows how to jog. He, he, like on he, play. He's very good at like the mannerisms in which you would need to look like a baseball player. He's athletic. Player. He's like an athletic actor. Great. And so you can edit around the weak hits to the pitcher. You know, you just want that actor to look like they know what they're doing. And that's Bo. And he doesn't need to play sports because to be and honest, he wants ha- to be like he wants well, to his, be he's a good actor. Uh, that's his dream is to be in in the major leagues. And I'm like, then you got to fucking let people coach you, bro. The, you got to let people he'll be in major league you. for the movie. You know, <laughs> like that's where he's going. Yeah. Yeah, I I also have that. It's it's something that's wrong with me. But like when I go like I need to I think it's my responsibility to check that person. You know, I used to be really bad with that. Like for some reason, well, maybe sometimes it is. I mean, I don't know. I, I find I, I enjoy my life more when I don't have to police people's behavior or like knock somebody down a peg. Um, yeah. But it's different as their parent. I mean, it's your job is to like course correct and like set them up to be the best version right. of themselves. So like, I don't know what that's like. Um, I will let you know that when I was growing up, those moments when I did get checked, as embarrassing as they were, and moments that I don't, you know, really, uh, you don't forget, but like they do help you sort yes. of socialize yes. and normalize a little bit more. Or you could just like, you know, grow a little weirdo and let let him fucking be the star of his own music video for the rest of his life. And like, who gives a shit? I could see him. That's how Madonna's like are bear- made. That's how like Lady Gaga's are made. Maybe. Is he, like is a, he nine? like a host. Yeah, he's nine. I mean, in my head, it's like uh, there's a nine year old in Texas who think he hit a game winning home run. Does anybody need to check him? Like, you know what I mean? That's like, it's what like, my dad is saying. He's like, he's right. in tw- when he, by the time he's 12, that he will be an entirely different kid. Totally. Like, it's let like let him three be year, yeah. a baby. He's still, are totally. you upset? Is the part that bothers you about it? The fact that you think like maybe his other teammates are being like, look at Bo. He's like such a little like liar. Kid. Yes. Or, like, do you think that's the part that bugs you about it the most? Like it's mm-hmm. a- affecting his social life. Mm-hmm. And I, and to be very honest, I'm the opposite of him. Yeah. I'm so hard on myself and I'm never good enough for myself. And so I think it triggers me a little bit. Is he like one of your parents? Is one of your parents like Bo? My dad's a little like that. My dad is very like so, so much conviction to what he believes and what he says, but not in a like aggressive way. Like, okay, you can say what you want, but I know I'm right. Like just so like he is like that in many ways. Does he remind you of your dad? And does that bother you? It's never bothered me, yeah. but I have seen how it could bother my mom. Uh-huh. Like I put myself in her shoes and been like, I would f- know if I walk away, could I be married to a guy like that? But it doesn't bother me. He's like my dad. It's fine. Like the things he is that way about like are harmless. And it, like the, the bigger picture things that like I care about as a human being, we are aligned on. It's just like other random shit. So I think that, it's never really bothered me, but like when you're in a day to day with somebody about like life, that would be so annoying. Yeah. And again, I think that honestly, I think the biggest trigger is me. I worry for what his friends are going to say to him or think about him. But the truth is he's the fucking most popular kid in the school. Like he's so liked because he's so he's funny. He's smart, but he's nice. Like he's a really good teammate. He's such a good teammate. He has zero competitiveness in him at all. Like he'll be like, zero mom, my friend did great. And this one did great. And I was so happy for them. And we all did that. Like, like, and even if he gets a kid out, he's like, and he was the best kid on their team. Like 
He mm. just, like, he's so nice. See, I also feel like you and his dad are both, like, held to a high standard, but also, like, are very good at your crafts and know what it takes to be good right. at your crafts. So when yes. you see him, like, I think if a regular You're so mom right. or somebody who doesn't think about, like, it's like, hey, well, if you want to be in the major leagues, you can't be thinking you just hit a home run. Like, you know, where most people are like, oh, yeah, he's, you know. You're like, so right. And his grandpa was in the major leagues. And what was did Cutter play in the majors at all? Got up to triple A. Right. So triple A. So it's like the idea of him being a professional yeah. athlete, especially baseball. He's like, players, you have no idea how, what that takes. Yeah. yeah it's and and it's not some like foreign thing where there's people who are mm-hmm. like, listen, I know my son's never going to be a baseball player. If he wants to think he hit a home run, let him think he hit a fucking home run. Right. Where like you guys are like, hey, if your dream is to be a professional baseball player, you're there's so a good shot. Right. So, you know, maybe you need to know you didn't hit a home run and the, 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 the. You're so right. But that's, I think, what my dad is also telling me there's time for. Totally. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. He's like, he's not getting scouted in, like, the next two years. Like, relax. You know, you just want the best for your kids. But sometimes, you know, that means, like, getting out of your own way of being a parent and, like, letting them fuck up or letting them learn without you teaching them. They don't want to learn it from you most of the time. Well, th- this is good. We're talking about Indian people and we're talking about children. <laughs> so I want to, there's something, so I've been watch- back to watching 90 Day Fiance. Mm-hmm. Mm. And in I know this guy's Indian because they, they're in India. Because they- he, <laughs> he brought a white, he brought a white woman back to India and he's marrying her and she's like a lot older than him. And he keeps, yeah, he keeps bringing her around the parents and like the mom is like, I will not accept this. Like, this is not okay. Like, you cannot marry this person. And she says it right there. Like, the white woman doesn't understand what she's saying, but she says it right. You see the subtitles and the white woman's like looking at the fucking paintings on the wall like, oh, what's going on? And it's like, you will, like, so these were some of the lines that the mother said. She goes, if you, because she, I think she said like we, I think he said we did get married or we're gonna get married. She said, "I never want to see you again. You're not allowed at my funeral. Yeah, I am I, not your mother anymore. You are not my son." And this was the one where I was like, "Whoa!" She said, "You will pay for this in your next life." Yeah, she's <laughs> cursing him. Yeah, this is a this is a thing. You know, there there was the one ninety day other way that I saw. There was a similar <laughs> thing with the Jordanian kit, where like it's so funny that these families that are so close are so quick to disown their kids when they do something that goes against what they want. You know, I, I really I cannot imagine thinking of anything either my kids would do that I'd be like, peace. And especially the fact that like he's really in love, like. He yeah. really loves and this what's woman. what's wrong like, with the woman? What's wrong with her that she doesn't like she's her? She's just old. Like, she's old. She looks like an art teacher from, like, you know, <laughs> New York who's, like, seven. Like, uh, she's about to retire or, like, should have retired five years ago. You right, know, but she right. like, she's like, oh, I like the kids, like, you know, or whatever. But she's just there and, like, he's, you know, he has, like, a chipped tooth and, and he's, like, you know, always, like, it's just, it's, uh, watching them is so great. But what's he like? <laughs> This, I don't know what I did, but this mom is like, she's like, you're, when she's at like, she's like, you're not my son anymore. And this, and here's the best part. So this guy's like, eyes are welling up. He's crying. He like chases. So his mom and dad walk out and they're like, don't come after us, whatever. So he like chases his mom and like, and dad and is like, please, like, I love you. Like, don't do this. Just talk to me. And they're like, no, whatever they peace. So now this poor guy walks back in. This fucking white old lady has no idea what was just said. All she knows is they were yelling. They were kind of fighting. They walked out and the husband walked out. So the husband walks back in and she goes, 
you you left me and you you ran after them and they because she doesn't know what they're saying in Indian. The guy's like, I right. love her so much. Like all I want to do is be is be with her and like and he's like she's like you're not my mother anymore. And then this poor guy comes back in and the lady's like, you don't don't touch me. Like stay away from me. This and this this guy is like, a, a, oh my god, his world is falling apart. Yeah, he's just he's. And frazzled. what happened? It, it, f- tune in next week. Ah, tune yeah, in his next life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean that is that is the thing, you know? It's wow. uh it, it is a a, a way to do it. when you're an Indian and, and you're like, you know, you believe in uh Hinduism. Hindi? I, I I'm sorry. I apologize if you're out there. <laughs> That's but, correct. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Uh they will get you with the next life shit, you know? Like they have extra arrows to slang at you cuz it's it's not just like, no, nah, you just can't come by the house anymore. You know, it's like I will curse you in whatever form you take. You will Fuck come back. You. And, yeah. It's 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 an ultimate, and it's not like these guys are like, yeah, whatever, mom. They believe this shit, you know. And maybe they're mm-hmm. right. They could be right. We all could just like turn into something else, and we could be cursed in our next lives. Um, I'm thankful my parents aren't religious like this, and like they almost encouraged me to like date white women. You know, growing up, I think there's a a strong need to get away from the Middle East because of, of how sort of literally and like sort of metaphorically incestuous it can get over there. Yeah. Yeah. There, sure. there's uh if, if I think if in your next life, you're going to be like turned into like a, an animal or whatever to be like tortured being an animal in New York city, like not like if you're someone's dog, I guess it's fine, whatever, but being like any sort like now there's like raccoons, just like running around fucking you New guys York got City. raccoons out there yeah th- this uber driver was like she was like you got to see these raccoons she was like it looks like they're playing tag out here <laughs> i was like what because i was like i haven't seen any but she's saying there's raccoons but there's rats and, the- and it's just like if you're any there's some like uh what's the word like uh invasive species of like mm. bug that's in New York right now. And there's, Oh yeah. I keep seeing the pictures of it. They're everywhere. Like you've uh, seen them. Jamie, have I seen what them? are they? Ev- like you literally see things. Dr- I was in an Uber. I got to Google day. it. I got to Google it. I'm in the Uber the other day. All of a sudden I see something go by my eye and it's like, <laughs> and I look right here and there's just one like, like right next to me. And I have to try and get it out of the Uber. And oh, the, Uber, the, the woman is screaming. Spotted lantern fly. Is that yeah. it? Oh, man. Residents Insane. told to squish and dispose of invasive insect species. Yeah, you're supposed to kill them. Yeah, they need you to. There's yes. a new bug invading New York City and the surrounding region. Spotted lantern flies, while not directly harmful to humans, are giant, colorful pests that have the potential to wreak havoc on areas' crops. And officials are advising locals to destroy any that they encounter. Destroy. Uh, yeah. the it's the insects beginning out here. of the end, guys. We're being let me, instructed let me tell you. to destroy. I, I'll this, tell you what next. my friends told me, and you're about to say it, right? They're from China. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you think this is a coincidence? There yeah. are no coincidences in life. The insects are native to China and Southeast Asia, and they were first seen in the U.S. and Pennsylvania in 2014. Since then, their population has slowly been on the rise. How did it get to Pennsylvania? Let me just tell it's you from that those this, seeds. China's sending us the seeds. Now they're doing insect warfare. This is not an accident. Okay. That was, those seeds were bug food or bugs. Yeah. Uh, these things, you know what it is? It's it, it's so weird that there are insects that are different just from like state to state. You go to Florida, they got love bugs and they're just like giant swarms of idiot bugs. They don't bite you or anything. They're just giant. And they're we like, have, you know what we have. You mill up. Uh, no, no seams. CMs. Yeah. It's just so weird. The pests are equipped with piercing mouth parts. Oh, isn't that a, just a, a a really terrible couple words? Yes. Which allow That's, them that to sounds suck like what sap. people that sounds like what people in Venice have. You know? <laughs> yeah, like piercing the, mouth parts. Yeah. yeah. It's like the I dated girls on the, the east fucking, side. Yeah. The the girls that cast some swipes yes to on the dating app, they <laughs> all have piercing mouth parts. Exactly. They suck up uh, sap from a wide range of plant species, leaving the plants weak and vulnerable. This intense feeding just saps the energy from plants, and it makes them tough for some of them to thrive. Uh, these these pests pose a threat, uh, and they are uh, recommending residents step up and assist in the eradication efforts themselves. Oh, I, I would like to uh, 
put a slogan for these bugs. We make signs and it says, step up, step on. That's great. That is a great slogan. With a picture of the bug. Gabby, Gabby, do us a favor. Photoshop (laughs) a quick spotted lantern fly that says, step up, step on. Yeah, step up, and it's a guy with his chest out, or a it's guy you, or a gal. You, it's got to be you, guy or gal. It's AJ oh, yeah. Soprano. Please make it AJ <laughs> Soprano. So the it's, so well, you know it's publicity. Me. It gets out there. Yeah, Th- there's no difference between a picture of me and a picture of AJ Soprano. <laughs> no, and I'm behind him like this. Yeah, yeah, and then meta. and and then there's just a boot of squishing one of the the bugs. So step up, it's chest out proud, and then step on. It's a boot okay. On go the ahead. Bug. Yeah, Jamie's making the pose. Rob, give. Gabby the pose so she can pop you up. <laughs> <laughs> and then make me the fly, okay? Make me the fly, Gabby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step on. <laughs> you okay. look, that's Wow, you're really giving us spotted lens. You are giving vibes. us some real China fly right there. <laughs> yeah. Buzz, buzz. Wow. Eat, eat your heart out. Who's the guy from last week who spit on the guy? Who's the actor now? Oh, uh, Harry, Harry Styles. Styles. Eat your heart out, Pine. Harry Styles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Castle's the new fly in town. What's the update? What's the Nothing. update on I got, Harry you Styles? You know, I, I was so passionate last week talking about it, and then I have not cared or looked about it. Nobody's talking about it anymore, I don't think. You just needed to get it out and hear how stupid it sounded, and now you're done. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's a shame. No one even did. Anyone even write us about it? Nothing. Uh, no, but I do have an no email. Action. <laughs> um, no and cares. the subject of this email is Rob surprises me. Okay, um, Cass. Is it I don't understand. Yeah. Cass, I don't understand your homeboy. <laughs> it's called you a homeboy. Oh, here we go. It's a Cass fan. It was a problem with Rob. Cass, I don't understand your homeboy. I've always considered Rob to be a sharp, intelligent fellow. But now after hearing that he jogged five miles barefoot, I don't know. (laughs) This coming from a former jogger. Also, can we get some editing? Because it was gross seeing Rob's toe, even though I had felt bad for him. And it's not the first time because you recall when Rob severely sliced his thumb, viewers cringed when they saw a close up of that. Jamie Lynn. What say you? Best wishes, Phil. Huh? Phil. From Long Island? From Long Island. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for a second, I cared about this email. <laughs> now I don't. Now I'm going to go back out and run 10 miles barefoot, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I, uh, I got by you the in, way, Phil. Phil. You're welcome, buddy. Hey, Phil, I'm a couple miles away. Why don't you come say it to my face, Philly boy? Can I'm right imagine? here. Dude, could come you say imagine? It to, come say it to my foot. Come say it to my foot, Phil. Step uh, up. Step on. Step on. <laughs> Step up. Buzz, buzz. Step on. Uh, Thanks for the email, Phil. And by the way, uh, the reason why, yeah, I'm dumb because I'm not a jogger. I never jogged before really COVID, and then I started jogging a little because of COVID. But I was on the beach, and I'm like, hey, it's sand. Like, yeah. uh, it should be all right. And I hadn't worked out in a couple of days because of the wedding. I just got ahead of myself. And uh, yeah, lesson learned. I'll never do it again. Toes still black. Is it? Wow. By the way, yeah, it's Go nasty. ahead and show Phil. Go ahead and show Phil. Remember no, because I'm in underwear. Oh yeah, COVID toe. You had COVID toe, but you weren't. All, you didn't want to Instagram about it because you were scared you'd get deplatformed. <laughs> <laughs> what a world, baby. I'm I'm glad we're almost all the way. Are we through it? Do you guys consider us through COVID no, yet? Or I no, I still get tested three times a week. Oh yeah, I get tested every day. But are we oh, through yeah, like the the, the politics of it all? Do you f- do you feel like people are still harping on it? Well, yeah. Well, they dropped all the vaccination status stuff, so like not needing it necessarily for everything. So now that that's done, I think it feels much calmer. Yeah. And like Hollywood, quote unquote, you still need it, right? Like you need. To I don't think so. Work. I think now they're loosening that. They've loosened really? it, so I don't need to wear a mask at work after getting tested every day. But I still have to wow. get tested. Wow, it's real loosey goosey over there at. G4. Dude, I got to tell you, yeah. When when we stopped wearing masks, I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do with this. It it felt like I, it felt like uh, it was a whole new job. Like I can't. It is so yeah. invasive. When, Talking about invasive species. The mask is an invasive species. And Ooh, it was yeah. Put that about out that. There. And then so I'm that's from, all your liberal friends. <laughs> and I'm double vaxxed, baby. 
And Woo! I've had it. And I'm so I feel like I have all the reason to be like, all right, yeah, dude, everything worked. Vaccine worked for me. I didn't get super sick. But like, I don't need to wear the mask. I'm as mm-hmm. healthy as a horse right now, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, I'm glad I'm glad we don't, you know, have to have to wear the masks anymore. So we still do, email. except when we're outside. Uh, yeah, you still wear them at work. Uh, we still you still have to do unless you're outside or quote unquote acting. <laughs> well, yeah, but we're outside and we're all around each other. So it makes no sense. But I will tell you that I had like, oh, God feeling when people I saw without their mask for the first time after a year and a half of working with them. And I'm like, that is not what I thought you look like at all. Yeah. Yeah. You paint like, not somebody. that it's better or worse, but it like, it's so jarring to me. Some Did we just lose worse. the light over there, Cass, for you? Do I look, did something change? It got oh, a little yeah. dimmer. It looks a little darker over there. You know, I noticed that too, but n- it's because you were talking about the Mecca. Yeah. It's this about to go Muhammad. down. This oh, is no. Oh. Show yourself. Do you, guys are, do you remember oh, when we do you remember when we did a pod? It was like during the pandemic. We were to Zoom and it was I how do I say his last name? Sam Morrell? Morrell? Oh yeah, Morrell. Yeah. And my lights started just to get darker, darker by the end of the pod. <laughs> I was in the pitch black because we had just were switching to solar power and we had no electricity for two days. So when the sun went down, you just couldn't see me anymore. But we were still potting. Do you remember that? Hey, guys, listen, rain, sleet, <laughs> snow. We pod, baby. No sun. We pod, baby. Yeah, you're just like a shadow figure. in the- <laughs> You know, I, I don't remember that specific. Sam was one. like, uh, "Are you camping or something?" <laughs> yeah. You should have had like a just a little like silver pan or a you flashlight. Know? Yeah, yeah, do it like that. Ooh, a little can of beans. Imagine like forty five minutes into the pod, you start opening up a can of beans. Oh, it'd be so You're good. Eating it with a spoon. Gross. Mm. It would be um, so I got another email. Okay. This one's from Tim. Tim says, hey, everyone, big fan of the pod. I hope I get to hear this when I'm listening to next week's episode on my way to work. There you go, Tim. Here we are. I've always felt like podcasts where it's just three friends talking are usually lame and not interesting. But this one, for some reason, managed to crack the code. Please keep making them. Please. Pretty please. Come on. Do it. Kasim, please stay weird in your humor. It's so hysterically funny when you let loose. Rob. Keep asking your random hypothetical questions and keep pushing Kasim to be less PC. And well, if you did today, look at me. I went off on masks. Mm-hmm. He and you both know deep down it's funnier when you just say what you're both thinking. Jamie Lee, you're amazing and your stories are the heart of the show. <laughs> uh, I keep trying to convince friends to listen to the show, but I'm unsure how to pitch it to them. If they've never watched The Sopranos, how should I pitch it? I mean, I don't know. I think you just say you, it's the kids three the little family. weirdos that have been famous for different things at a point in time or another. It's the guys from the spotted other. lantern fly poster. <laughs> <laughs> this is the three people from the, uh, the, 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 po- the billboard <laughs> people who are just listening. When you hear silence, we're doing the poses. Uh, we're doing yeah. the poses and please uh, check us out on YouTube. Click subscribe. It's Thanks, more fun Tim. that way. Yeah, well, you know what uh, I wanted to tell you guys? So I've been like, uh, you know me, I'm usually like Mr. Fucking Hangout and just like I'm doing nothing, whatever. I'm in New York City because I know I only have a small window here. It's like every fuck, like right before we started potting, I was downstairs like seeing friends and it was like you sent the link and I was like, all right, got to go. Like, you know, that's like, awesome. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so great. It's different for me. Like, you know, I need I need I usually like recharge alone. Yes. So I'm just out like every night seeing friends, dinners, walking around New York City, everything during the day. I was like cleaning out my storage unit. I'm in a storage unit at like 11 o'clock at night in downtown Manhattan. There's like fucking homeless people doing the craziest shit in these hallways while I'm like alone Are you going through my out? stuff. No, it's New York City. You know what I mean? Like you're kind of like, I don't know. Like you, you just, I don't know. Like when I'm in New York City, if I was in LA, I'd be like, uh, okay. like, I don't know. When I'm in New York City, I just feel like I'm That's like, funny. yeah, I, I, I know these guys. Like, you know, I'm like, I grew up with yes. fucking this and, and th- these were my hallways. Like uh, when I was growing yes. up in this building, it was like crazy crackheads. But, uh, what was I say? Oh, so the other night 
uh, my friend, you know Tony, who's married to Ola. It was her birthday, and we went to a dinner. And I was sitting across from her, and she was like, you know, when we were flying on vacation this uh, summer, she's like, there was turbulence. And she's like, I'm a really bad flyer, and I had such bad anxiety that I had some of your uh, episodes of the pod. And she's like, I turned on your guys' podcast. And she was like, the next thing I know, I was just like laughing and forgot all about like Aww. the turbulence. And I felt much better. And I was like, wow, that's really that's that's nice. awesome. That's awesome. Honestly, that's the highest compliment because that's what podcasts do for me when I listen to them. They take me out of wherever I'm at, which is why I put them on. And I just want to like listen to other people and be entertained and giggle and learn something. And and that's the best. And that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Me and Rob, like we listen to the same podcast in the morning and like he hates one of the guys on it and I love one of the guys on it. So like we always have something to talk about. He'll just text me like, did you hear what he said this morning? And that's I'm like, great. Yeah. Yeah. It's so I mean, po- <laughs> look at his face. He's thinking about it right now so much. And, uh, you know, that's just it, it's so funny. Um, I fall asleep to podcasts. I, I listen. Wow. You guys know I, I listen to old like pajama or, pants. I li- yeah yeah I listen to myself though I just cut everyone else out I, I listen to old Art Bell <laughs> yeah. um and I I don't know if it's bad that I need something like that to fall asleep to like no one says anything when you put on like a, a white noise machine or whatever but like sometimes I feel bad that I can't just like fall asleep because I used to I used to be able to just fall asleep naturally and I didn't need anything. If it was up I... to me, I would fall asleep with a television on. I love noise to fall asleep to like people talking things. I right. love and that. Cutter does and he doesn't like that. No, I, and I you sleep... know, Cutter. Yeah, when Ash sleeps wants, with goes. the TV on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it. And you're so such you're, an you're such a good partner. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where Bo gets it from. <laughs> Sometimes you and Bo have the same exact face. We do have the same face. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, yeah. would you, seriously, would you think differently of Kasim or I if you found out that this whole time that we've been potting, we were having Gabby edit the pods to just our voice and we fell asleep to that? <laughs> like, imagine Ka- like Gabby, like, uh, one day is like, you know, Kasim, every episode asked me to edit out you guys and just put his just send his audio just his audio i do he, your lines i i transcript <laughs> what you guys say and then i do it yeah it's all casm all it's the time three casms it's the three casm pod it's the after show that's a I great actually pod. would love to hear that you know what that's such a good idea and then oh, our it's listeners a great idea. you know why because then our listeners at the end have to decipher which things Cass actually said and what they think rob said and what i they think i said yeah, and then if we have a guest, they have to try and figure out who the guest was. Right. right. This is it, guys. Wow, we've come on to a new... Are we on to like a new... That's like a new type genre. of pod. Genre. Damn, dude. Genre. Whoa. Wow. Genre pod. Wow. We've uh, just, we're, we're, something's happening. Oh, is that, is that still from last week? Your this. manicure? Look Congratulations. at Congratulations. Did you get a pedicure too? No. Don't show it. Don't Baseball mom just out there keeping those nails. I don't give my feet for free. That's right. We're going to get you on that OnlyFans. I feel like you, you're you very curious about it. You know? These, like there are girls, well, I like money. There are girls who have a tenth of the following you do who don't get naked on OnlyFans and are making $60,000 a month. Jamie, I know girls that 60. are making probably a hundred grand a month not go, not being naked. But they have a big following, right? Yeah. But you, well, yeah, gotta, but you know what? I'm but saying that means these girls you probably got to like keep up with it a lot, and I'm not interested in that. I'm saying these girls don't have a big following. What if I, they just, what if I told but you? But I would like post like once a, every two weeks. But it could just be, it could just be, no, Jamie, once a day, but it could just be like if Cutter's like, oh, your underwear are coming out of your pajama pants, and then he takes a picture of that and you upload it. He said the name of the pod. Hey, somebody could manage it for you. All these girls have a guy that responds to the comments on their OnlyFans, for, like as them for them. Yeah, but then you have to pay that guy. You got to pay him a little bit, but if you're it's making Bo. sixty grand a month, <laughs> <laughs> do you like my he mommy? Makes, I mean uh, me. No, and then he, I have, she, an, he could, I have a he hard could send time pictures of just parts of his face to them, <laughs> and yeah. they'll think it's you. Oh yeah, baby. 
Oh, my friend's kid the other day was playing a video game and then he called his mom and he's like, mom. And they said in between, he was playing some game that I don't know. It was like in, it was like in Japanese, but it, it translated to like mm. Chinese run, baby run or something. And it was like some <laughs> racing game and like each lap that he would win. All of a sudden, it would cut to a picture, and it was like just a woman's eyes. And then he did like a couple more oh. laps, and then it was like her face. And then it was like to hear. And that's when he was We're like talking Mom. major league. And it now. was a naked woman. Hell yeah, though. Those Japanese, they have it figured out. There's a reason why they're number one in video games. But was the vagina blurred because they don't have that figured they out? I, yeah. I wasn't there, so I didn't. It was know. half octopus on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> that stuff. Oh, that's what they do. Mm, that's know. what they do. <laughs> Oh, that's what they do. <laughs> that's what they you do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> how much time? How much time do we have left? What time is it? I was just starting it's... to wrap it up. I was just starting to wrap it up. What do you need? No, I was gonna say there was big news at the my. You know, I went to. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I I went to uh, my dad's and uh, my dad and that side of the family's house and we were all the, the big news really is I, my brother was up 15 to 2 playing cornhole against me and i came back and wow won. i know i'm and so glad it. you shared that you were down 13 points 15 in to 2 uh -huh. 15 to 2 in cornhole and uh -huh. it started raining and you know what we said oh we could call the game i said no we can't we can't call how the many game. points you get for on. a hole three three yeah yeah. But it was, I mean, it was a bloodbath out there. It was just second half of the late games were on. But anyway, so it's it's week one of NFL, which is like Christmas at, you know, my dad's place. And we're all sitting on the couch. <laughs> we just happened to all be sitting on the couch. All of his kids were together. And uh, my brother goes outside, and then he comes back, and he calls my dad into the room. And, like, we're all sitting on the couch, and they're in front of the TV and my brother's like, Dad, uh, there's no better time that I'd rather give you this gift right now. And he like hands him a bag. And literally it's like, get out of the way. Like it's week one of the NFL, and my <laughs> survivor team is like on the TV. It's quarter one, like kickoffs just happened. Where like it couldn't be a more like we waited all year for this. And he's like talking to dad in front of the TV, and we're like, yo, so my dad's like, Oh, what is this? Like a hamster, like in the bag? And we're like, what we're like, what is this? Like, what's going on? And my dad reaches into the bag and he pulls out a onesie and it says, you know, grandpa's little drinking buddy, or like yeah. whatever on the thing. And uh, that was it. Like, you know, Aww. it was like uh, everyone Is survivors. this your dad's first grandchild? Dad's first grandchild, Robert's first chance Congrats, to be your uncle. Buddy. Or an wow. aunt. Wow. Yeah, it was. Uh, you, you can know. be whatever you want, buddy. That's right. It's 2022. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it was just, it was a bit, because here's the thing. And this is, I, I'm, I'm being very serious when I say this. Like, I, oh, my dad has five kids and my mom has two. And it's like, I always... If you told me that like there was going to be a child brought in, I would have been like, uh oh, because, you know, I, I don't plan on having kids right now. I'm not in that place in a relationship. My other brothers and sisters maybe are like, you know, most of them are too young or, you know, right. they're not bad. But, but like this brother, he's like 29, uh, uh, 28, maybe has his shit so together. His, his girlfriend has her shit together. They're great. And it was just like, I just like I hadn't thought about it much recently, but in my head it was always like, man, if if there's ever a report of a kid, like, oh, you know, we've like we kind of talked about it as a family where it'd be like, uh oh, yeah. like who's gonna be first and this, and the fact that it was just like such a joyous thing and everyone was so happy and like everyone's hugging and 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 like you know, oh my god, this is so great, sir. and you turn around and my sister is just it was, somebody said it looked like she was standing out in the rain, like she's just bawling and she's like, I've been waiting oh. my whole. And my dad's like, yeah, she's just hung over, like, uh, you know. But like, every it was like a very, yeah, very special day. And then, that's like, so nice, huh? I was just saying, that's so nice to have a moment like that. You know, yeah. How many times is your family all together and yeah, celebrating? Those are those are truly so the special moments. Like as you get older, like those, it's like they're the ones that last. It's like I know you made fun of gender reveals, but like it's like. I think as life gets more fragile and as you get older and you have more loss in your life of people and things like you just hold on to those special moments. Cause like they really are. 
And there's not so a, a far lot of them. few between. There exactly. There's not a lot of them, and they're everything. Like they just are. I'm so glad you guys had that. Yeah, it was really, it was really something. Like, and then like, you know, the weird part was afterwards was like, all right, it's day one of football, and like football's on. I was like, I don't even care. Like, you know what I mean? Aww. You're like, I, you're because the adrenaline from what like just happened, and everybody was like, oh my god, and it was like the first time we had all been together in almost a year, and like it was like, wow. oh, is this person gonna make it? Is my sister gonna make it? My other brother was driving up from five hours upstate, and and it just happened. Like everybody got together, everybody was sitting on the couch. It was it like feels the like the end thing. of a movie. <laughs> yeah, but it's just the beginning. That's wow. right. Dude, Sequel. that is so well put, dude. Uh, st- step up. And step, step on. on. And that's a pot. Uh, congratulations, Robbie. Congratulations yes. to you guys. You made it through another episode of Pajama Pants. If you're Uncle Rob. On Uncle Sons Rob. Uncle Cass. Bob. I like Uncle, Uncle Bob. Cass. I like Uncle, Uncle Jamie. Bob. Uncle That's going to be Uncle good. Yame. Um, That Uncle is... That's going to do it. Send us an email, askpajamapants at gmail.com. Send us an Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. And don't forget, me and Jamie are on <laughs> like we're not Like Twitter. we're not podding. I thought you were going to play like background what music. Doing, Jamie? <laughs> I, I was waiting Kasim's for doing, an email. That is I was, so unprofessional. Kasim was. is doing his rap that he is so good at and he works so hard. I've been I, what, waiting Jamie. for this email to respond to and I didn't know it had this fucking video on it. Jamie, Jamie then you, you know get to do I, the end. Now you get what, to do the yes, end of the podcast. When I used to go to Kasim's house, you think that he just does this. I would watch him practice this for 30 minutes before the pod in the no, mirror. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He go, hey, it's, that's what a pod for pajama pants. Go ahead, Jamie. Now you got to do it. Okay. I've tried it before. I'm terrible at it. Well, well Kasim is done. go ahead because- uh, You were unprofessional. <laughs> You support talked the over people you- that support the pod. Um, Rob's off the grid. <laughs> ja- Jamie's oh, on Instagram and Twitter. Kasim's on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, that's John Pants, and we have a subreddit. Oh, and that's another show. That's good. That's actually that just was really as good. Yeah, you did. You did. See, she's an actress. She could. Jamie, our Jamie can do anything. She can that's do why anything. I demand the best from my children. All right, one last billboard. <laughs> Step up. Step on. Step on. Do your part.